Hello bio partners in part 1 we observed all the microorganisms so now in this section we will study about how microorganisms help us and harm us so no more further ado let's get into the video before that don't forget to subscribe my channel hit the notification bell welcome to bio education Microorganisms are present in air, water, soil and within the bodies of animals. Some microorganisms are very useful and helps us in many ways while some are harmful. Useful microorganisms. Some microorganisms are very useful to our daily lives. For example, making of curd, preparation of idli, bread and cakes. as well some microorganisms are also useful in the preparation of medicines required to cure different diseases as well curd or buttermilk contains bacteria named lactobacillus which converts the milk into curd in bakeries when yeast is added to the dough for the preparation of bread the dough rises this is due to the production of carbon dioxide gas during the process of fermentation bubbles of the gas makes the dough spongy in nature now take some water sugar and yeast mix it well and leave it for 3 to 4 hours now open the lid and smell it this is the smell of alcohol sugars are converted into alcohol by yeast This process of conversion of sugar into alcohol is known as fermentation. This process is mainly used in large scales in the production of alcohol. Yeast is also present in grains like barley, wheat, rice. Sometimes when we fall ill or get injured, doctor prescribes some medicines to kill microorganisms which cause diseases. Such medicines are called antibiotics. There are number of antibiotics like penicillin, tetracycline, streptomycin and erythromycin. Discovery of penicillin. Dr. Alexander Fleming was an army doctor during First World War. He observed that many injured soldiers died because of bacterial infection of wounds. Accidentally one day he observed that some fungi were preventing the growth of bacteria in petri dish this substance are killing the disease causing bacteria then the fungus was identified as penicillium notatum the substance which was produced by the fungus penicillium was named penicillin vaccines doctor prescribed medicines in the form of injections tablets etc to gain control over diseases the weak diseases causing microorganisms which are administered in our bodies are called vaccines the process of administration of weak or dead organisms into our body is called vaccination polio is given in the form of oral drops which prevents polio in children discovery of smallpox dr edward jenner set up his medical practice in village and saved many of people from some diseases smallpox was a very dangerous disease wiping out millions of people in those days in year 1796 jenner took the fluid from a cowpox pustule on a diary mate's hand and inoculated into 8 years old boy with the parents permission Six weeks later, he exposes the boy to smallpox, and the boy did not develop any symptoms of smallpox. The fluid collected from cowpox pustule acted as a vaccine to prevent smallpox. This invention of smallpox vaccine saved millions of people from the deadly disease. Soil microorganisms. About seventy-eight percent of air around us is nitrogen gas. Plants need it mainly for growth, but they cannot make it from atmosphere directly microorganisms like rhizopus nostoc anabina acetobacter etc helps to provide these elements to the plants by absorbing them from atmosphere and then they form certain compounds and then fix them into the soil that can be taken up by the plants all these are the useful microorganisms to humans if you like this video don't forget to give a thumbs